Hey lovelies and welcome in my kitchen. Today we are baking golden savory cheese scones from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. If you are a frequent visitor of Tamriel, you probably know that those elves are big on cheese and I have to admit that I am too. This was my very first time making scones but I have to say that the soft and fluffy texture and the buttery flavor immediately won me over. As always, I have listed all the ingredients for you down below in the description box. We start by simply mixing all our dry ingredients together in a big mixing bowl. All-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, the salt and the powdered mustard seeds. Then we take our cubed butter and crumble it in with our hands. To do that it should ideally have room temperature. We add the sour cream to bring it all a bit together. And then rasp in our cheese. The original recipe calls for aged cheddar, but I also tried chili cheese and a flavorful Dutch cheese. Just be creative and have some fun experimenting to find your favorite flavor. We add the buttermilk and with a spoon combine all the added ingredients. If you have watched some of my other videos, you might know that I always like to cook with my hands as opposed to using kitchen machines. Partially because I like to feel the texture and partially because I'm lazy and hate cleaning up. But this dough was so annoyingly sticky that I really regretted it. So if you have a mixer, just pop in some dough hooks and go to town on this because it is a pain in the rear. Before rolling the dough out, make sure you dust the working surface with flour and also sprinkle some on top of the dough and your rolling pin, because this thing will cling to everything like sh to a shovel. Once it is all nice and flat, you can fold it double to achieve some more layering in the dough, which will result in fluffier, lighter scones. Now, we want to grab our bloodthorn or other one-handed weapon of choice and slice the dough into little triangular pieces. In retrospective, I would have made a few less scones but left the dough thicker when rolling it out to give them some more body. But you can always learn from my mistakes. We line a baking tray with baking foil and place them on it, leaving some space in between them so they don't run into each other when rising while baking. To give them a delicious golden color, we now have to lightly beat the yellow of one egg and with a brush or a spoon, coat the scones with a fine layer of this egg wash. If you have any suggestions to make the dough a little bit easier to work with, please let me know. them off with some rasp parmesan. You can also add some caraway or dried rosemary on top for extra nuance of flavor and put them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And here they are, golden cheese scones. They taste delicious and amazing with some fresh herb butter and local wild forest honey. Next time I have a lovely stew from the World of Warcraft cookbook for you, as well as a delicious and well-known Skyrim dessert. And we will burn those calories off by venturing out to some magical places, looking for the Fey Folk. If you want to join, don't forget to click that subscribe button right now. Have a yummy meal and see you soon!